and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm going to be doing some fossil washing. Oh, really? My neighbor has been cutting his lawn or doing something all day today and I plan to film loads of fossil videos in one lump and I'm just really worried it's gonna like affect your guys' sound. So I'm really sorry if that just like started. Like hopefully when I edit, you guys can't hear it cause I'm just gonna have to persevere through it. But um. Yeah, my apologies. It's so inconsiderate that my neighbours decide to garden, like, pfft. But, no, I'm joking, of course. But, um, yeah. Today's video, I'm going to be washing some of my recent finds. So I've got quite a lot of ammonites, per usual, but also some nautiloids. And these ones are actually quite chunky. They might- one's not complete, but it's a nice piece. So I'm hopeful giving it a little bit of a bath will jazz it up a little bit. But I'm also going to be trying a new container to wash my fossils in that my parents, like, were just getting rid of and I was like ah maybe that will work so the crazy look on my face right there was because it's a mop bucket and like I can press a pedal and it spins but let's just flip you down so we can take a look okay so it's proven very difficult to get my head in shot along with these tubs on the floor um I did I have had a few attempts and we're just gonna stick with this one but um you're just gonna have to deal with my lovely green corduroys whilst I talk about these so this is my normal tub to wash them in but then you can't see it we have this wacky thing so this is a mop bucket but watch if i like press this pedal this thing spins so if i fill it with water oh i just hit the corner of the table behind me ouch my apologies <laughs> um yeah if i do this it spins and then i can fill it with water and like shake all my fossils in the water i think it's going to be quite exciting to try so we're going to do that as well thanks brother it comes out here Emma. Yeah, that's fine. Oh, it doesn't come out the edge. We've had to really overfill it because I need this bit with the water in, so it's really heavy. So I got my broski to carry it. Right. So the plan is, this is totally going to get me drenched. When I move this, the water spins, and I'm hoping it's going to clean my rocks. But we're going to have to trial it. Okay, so I thought I would bring you guys a bit closer. So you can see the foot pedal here, and as I spin the water, like puts it around it but there's actually like a basket in there so if I put which one should I pick so I pick they're all like fairly large let's use this as the test runner so I've put that in there <laughs> I mean this isn't for the fragile fossils that's for sure <laughs> but this is a lot of fun for me the question is is it cleaning it I think it's cleaning it Look, it already looks better. I didn't actually show you guys the before, but these fossils, like the ones in here, they're just really dusty. So we're just cleaning away. But let's put, right, I'm going to put the bigger ones in this tub to soak. Whoa. I always love dropping them in. Like the first time they drop in, it's amazing. Right, this is the Nautilus. Nautiloid, Nautiloid. One day I'll get it right. So you can see. It's like a massive chunk, but look at all those chambers. It's a beautiful. Right, we're gonna plonk it in. Whoa. You can't even see them anymore. Like, look how dirty that water is. But look, you can already see it like looks better. Wait. Look. The colours are already coming out. Right, let's put it back in there. That one's gonna be quite nice, I think. I don't find many nautiloids, so I'm excited for the result of that one. Okay, I'm gonna put you on my tripod somehow so I can actually like do this a bit more efficiently. Okay, so this isn't a bad shot, so I'm going to drop some of the little ones in here. So I'll show you them actually before I drop them. So they're just kind of, I mean the detailing on that one is gorgeous. They're just lovely little pieces. They'll probably become jar amylites. And then look, this one's like pinky. So I think it's pinky because um, where I found them, I think there was a fire. And I think when they <laughs> go in a fire, they go pinky, but I might, might be mistaken. And this is a brachiopod. You can see it. I found like a few like they're not perfect, but they're good enough. We like we like finding non-ammonites occasionally. So I'm gonna keep just I'm gonna move this one out now. I mean look at that. That has cleaned it beautifully. Like amazing. So that one can stay out. I will get a towel for them all. So let's put some of the this is a bag of bellum nights. Now, this is an amazing bellum night. I think this would actually ruin this one. So I'm going to just carefully put this one in the water because that one's quite impressive. 
but the rest of these little guys can just go in here. This is a nice little brachypod. We've got some little belemnites, some broken belemnites, a nice little ammonite, a nice chunky brachypod. That one's got some lovely ribbing on it. Look at that. Beautiful. Into my bucket. All right, some more belemnites, ammonites, belemnites, brachypod. Right, let's put that in. Let's give it a whirl. You guys ready? <laughs> this is so fun. I think this is actually really working. Like, this is more of like a joke thing to try, but I'm actually really impressed with it. I can see all like the sand going in at the back. Whoa. Like, I literally think they're washed now. Like, there's literally no sand left on those. What? <laughs> Where has this been all my life? These ones are done. We're gonna just take these ones out and put them on my towel next to me here. So I'll show you all, once they're all done, I can show you the finished product. That's those ones. And then I'm gonna pop a fresh batch in there. So I'm gonna try it with some chunky vellum nights. So I've got these lovely pieces here. They look like that. I'm gonna put them in and let's see if they hold up. I don't want them breaking. I'm spraying water everywhere. I mean, it literally just cleans off any of the excess dust, which is just perfect. Like that actually is working really well and they haven't broken, like even though there's the natural fractures in them, they haven't broken. So I think this can deal with the not like super fragile ones. For those of you wondering, this is what an ammonite used to look like. So I've got this lovely model of one here and then this is what a belemnite looks like. So it's very tiny, so I hope you guys can see that, but kind of like a modern day cuttlefish kind of thing. And the belemnite fossils we find, like this kind of thing here, is one fifth of the size of what the squid would have been. So they were, you know, these fossils, they're only a piece of the puzzle. So it's pretty cool, I think. So I just thought I would show you guys that. Right, let's put some more in for the cleaner. So there's just some shell fragments. <laughs> just look how much rubbish is in this bag. Like none of that is actually a fossil. It, they're so dirty. Right, here we have a nautiloid. So you can see it's just like cemented in there, but you can see all the kind of chambers. So let's pop it in here. What's the worst that can happen? Right, let's go. Oh, it's a big one. Right, now I'm going to flip it over. You can see all the sand in this. I mean, it's working, look, it, it can't move much. <laughs> this is so much fun, guys. I wish I could, like, let you guys have a go, because I'm loving this. Right, it's nearly there. A few more pedals. And then let's have a look. Like, look at that. It's cleaned all the excess dust off it. Love that. That is working treats for me. So let's put some more bits and bobs in. We've just got some belemnites and fragments. Some ammonites. Belemnite bit. Belemnite. Don't know what that is. I think I thought it was probably a brachypod, but it just looks like a pebble. We'll leave that one out for now. Oh, a lovely brachypod. Look at that one. Love that. In it goes. A fragment of a brachypod. A big chunk of a belemnite. Oh, that's lovely. Lovely ammonite set in its rock. Another belemnite. A very dirty brachypod. And then just some more bellum nights. Let's put those in and let's get spinning. <laughs> so, as you can see, it's cleaned them perfect as well. This is actually a really fun way to clean them. Like, it's just doing 
all the hard kind of brushwork for me just using the pedals so I mean they've all turned out lovely so I'm just gonna lay them all out so they can dry like some might need a bit of further prep but that's how it always goes perfect and I'm also going to take these big ones out so they've been soaking now for probably about 10 minutes so a lot of the mud has softened so I'm just going to dip them in here to give them a bit more of a rinse so that's what the Nautilus, Nautiloid, sorry, is looking like. That is turning out lovely. Like, look at the chambers. Like, it might not all be there, but it's a beautiful chunk, I think. Like, that's really lovely. I'm happy with that. Then there's a big Bella Knight in here. So, it's just... Like, that is so uncommon to find one that long, unbroken. Like, how fabulous is that? <laughs> Like, that's impressive, I think. So now, I'm really chuffed with that one and glad it came home in one piece. And then we've got this big ammonite, so let's just dip it in there. Ta-da! So that's quite a lovely, like, piece. I think, anyway. Like, I like, it might not be whole, but you've got the centre, so it's still a lovely picture. We're gonna clean a few more just because I think the waters are getting a bit dirty and I'll save the rest for another time because I've then got to find a place for all the ones I clean which is always a nightmare. So I'm gonna wash this one. Look how beautiful. This is like a really chunky Dactylioceros. Like that's just a beautiful piece. I'm just gonna pop that in the soaking one. Did I just break the bucket? No. I was like resting on it. And then we've got this lovely piece as well. So that can go in the bucket. These smaller ones are beautiful but they can go in this one. Same with this little guy. Oh this is a big one. So not quite in perfect condition but all there. So let's see how this one cleans up. Just bonk it in. Uh, then we've got this one which is already in lovely nick but I'm just gonna just gonna give it a soak just to make sure and then let's put some more in our turny thing so I've got some more Bellamites they're just in need of a good wash Ammonites this is part of a lovely clam so can you see all the ribs on that so that should clean up quite nicely and it's nice to have something different as well. We've just got a nice chunk of an ammonite. The nice just fragments of ammonites just go in my jar, so they don't go they don't go anywhere, they just kind of become my decor, if you like. <laughs> so that's probably enough for in there, so let's give this a whirl. This is so fun. Like I let it refill and then it can just whoop. It's great. I mean if it can clean a mop, it can clean my fossils. Okay, that's probably cleaned them. It's actually so much fun doing this. <laughs> so that's that one. Ta -da. and this is the nice kind of piece. oh it's cleaned up both sides look at that see it's actually got both sides on it that's lovely that's really lovely no I like that piece then nice little ammonite and it hasn't broken one yet has it so so far so good and you can't put like teeny teeny ones in because obviously it has got grooves but they're not that small and we've got some belemnites and a tiny ammonite. God, I found a lot of belemnites this time around. That's a lovely, a lovely piece. Another belemnite, ammonite, ammonite bit. I think, oh, one more belemnite. That's all of them. So I think I'm going to leave it here. Um, I don't think I'm going to do, whoa, did you guys see how much mud just came off of that? <gasps> That is stunning. I know I literally was about to conclude, but look, wait. There was so much mud on the surface of it, it's like it's all coming out. 
Wow, that looks nothing like how I put it in. Like the suture detailing on that. Damn. Right, you can go back into soap the other way around. That one's turning out lovely. Then we got that nice little guy. What else do we have in here? What I was saying is that I'm not gonna do I'm not gonna wash anymore. And I think I already actually said that. I think I'm gonna bit crazy. But look at that one as well. <laughs> These are turning out lovely. Give it a little wash. Like these need very minor prep as well. That's why I love these. They're just so easy. Like once you find them, that's the hard work done. All right, okay, there's one more in here besides the intriguing one. And that one's turned out lovely as well. Let's pop that down. Okay. Let's give you some clean water, cleaner water. like that piece has turned out beautiful compared to what it was and I remember finding this one like it just looked like a mound of dirt but I could see that it was a whole ammonite quite deformed so I wasn't sure what it was going to be like under it but that I just love like that has turned out beautiful this is definitely my favorite one favorite favorite <laughs> from this haul anyway. This is today's batched, all lovely and clean. Just look at this piece. I know you just saw it, but I'm so chuffed with how it's turned out. Like all the detailing in the suture lines, like that is just amazing. And then I look at that. That's just turned out lovely as well. They've all turned out lovely. They always do. So this is this batch. And I'm really chuffed with this one. Like look at that. I love the fact it's got both sides. It might not be whole, but imagine if it was. Now that's just a stunning piece. And then just loads and loads of bits and bobs. <laughs> but it's all very, very cool. I do love my massive bellum knight. Just, just mahoosive. I don't know how it hasn't broken. And then this little nautiloid, which isn't actually, it might clean up quite nice. So, nah. Very chuffed with this batch. So I thought I would take you guys with me during the cleaning process. I mean, these ones have cleaned up so much better than I thought they would. Like this one in particular and that one. I am so happy with them. Love it. That's all I got for you guys today. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Um, let me know what you thought of using a mop bucket as a fossil cleaner. I mean, I've got to say, I'm actually really chuffed with how it worked out. Like considering we were just gonna chuck that bucket out, it definitely did the job. So if you've got one lying about, why not give it a spin? Um, I, it just made washing the actual fossils a lot more fun because normally I would do that by hand, like trying to get all the bits of dirt off, but just spinning it around, like let centripetal force do the job for you. So that was a lot of fun. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, but anyway, like and subscribe for more. My Instagram's down below and yeah, hopefully I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.